Howdy campers, welcome to your 22nd Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to go ahead and create a custom filter pipe. Alright then, so in the last tutorial we used these built-in pipes, slice and uppercase, but I mentioned that there's no filter pipe so we can't filter which data is output to the browser and that was one of the really cool things about Angular 1 and it would be really cool if Angular 2 kind of re- do the whole filter thing and put it in as a default pipe which we can use however we can't at the minute so I'm going to show you how we can create a custom pipe instead and that is going to do the job for us so first of all I want to get rid of these pipes because to be honest I don't want to do any of this jazz I just want to keep it as is for now and what I want to do is create a filter pipe which is going to be used here when we're outputting this ng4 and instead of outputting the full array we're going to use a filter pipe to only output the ninjas which a user searches for. And they're going to search for the name. Okay, So we're going to have a little form at the top where they can type in a name. And if that name matches any of the letters that come in these names right here, then it's going to stay. If it doesn't, then it's going to be deleted from this list or rather filtered out of the list. All right. So first of all, let's create that form. So what we want to do is that right up here. So right up here, what I'm going to do is a form tag, and this is going to have an ID equal, if I can spell all this stuff right, so form ID is going to be equal to filter. And this is just so those styles that I added in are going to style this up nicely. So in this form, let's do a label first of all, and that label is going to say filter ninjas by name, cool. And then after the label, we want an input, and the type is going to be of text. And then we're also going to attach an ng model to this. And we've seen this in a previous tutorial. So the model is just going to be a variable called term. So whatever we type into this input box is going to be stored in this model, this variable right here, term. Okay? So that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to save this right here. And if I refresh in a browser, we can now see this thing right here, this filter ninjas by name. Let's just make this a little bit bigger so it looks nicer. Okay, so the idea is if we start typing Yoshi, then it's going to filter these two out and we only see Yoshi. A bit like a search if you like. All right, cool. So now we've created our form. What we need to do is create our custom directive. So not custom directive, sorry, our custom pipe. So what we need to do that is come down here and we'll say ng and then generate pipe and this pipe is going to be called filter. So let's press enter and then this is going to go ahead and generate a pipe in the ninja directory. However, we want to cancel that because we want to be in this app folder right here. So let's say cd app, no source, forward slash app. And then let's do the same thing, ng generate pipe and call it filter. So press enter. And it's going to go ahead and create a filter pipe for us in this application directory right here. Cool. So now we have this filter.pipe.ts. I'm going to get rid of the test file right there. We don't need that. And let's go into this filter pipe file. And we're going to kind of code this filter up. So basically, what this is doing is adding the pipe decorator right here. And this is going to be the name of the pipe whenever we use it in the view. So you know like we had something like this pipe uppercase instead we're going to be using pipe filter and whatever this thing is here is referring to this so whatever we write here we have to use that in the view itself okay so in this class right here we have a transform method and this transform method is what is called every time that the pipe is used here okay so what we're going to do is take in a value first of all and I'm going to call this ninjas. So this is just the name of a variable, which we're going to take in a parameter, if you like, on the pipe. And that's going to be of type any. So we're just typing right here. And then the second argument that we're going to take through is going to be the search term that a user inputs into this thing right here, this input field, right? The term. So when we call this pipe, it's going to take two parameters, the ninjas and the term, okay? So what we want to do, first of all, is get rid of that. And I'm going to do a little comment to say check if search term is undefined. Okay? Because if it's undefined, all we want to do is return all of the ninjas. Okay? If the user doesn't type anything in here. So I'll say if 
return is triple equals to undefined, then what we're going to do is return the ninjas, which is this thing here, all of the data. All right, so then otherwise what we want to do is return the updated ninjas array. So what we're going to do is return, and I'm going to explain this in a minute once I've typed it, ninjas.filter. This is a JavaScript function which we can use, and this filter function takes a function as a parameter, and it's going to take in the ninja because we're using ninjas, and then this is going to refer to whatever element we're cycling through when we filter through. Okay, so each time around it's going to be referred to as ninja. And then in here, I'll say return again, and it's going to be ninja dot name, let's just uh, spell this correctly, return, ninja dot name, and then we're going to say to lower case, and then dot includes, and then it's going to be term dot to lower case, like so. Okay, so I'll show you what this does. So first of all, if you don't type anything and term is undefined, then we're just going to return the full array of ninjas, so it's going to display all of them. If not, then basically we're going to return ninjas.filter. This is a method which filters through the ninjas. And what it does is it goes through each element in the ninjas array, and each time it fires off a callback function. And this parameter right here, ninja, is something I've made up. It can be anything you want. It can be x, and then you just have to change this to x and whatever. But we're calling it ninja here. Okay, so it takes the current ninja that it's going through in this array, and in here, what we're doing is returning either true or false. If we return uh, return true, then it's going to keep that element in the ninja's array. If we return false, then it's going to remove that element from the ninja's array. Make sense? So this statement is going to evaluate to either true or false. Right? And what we're doing here is saying ninja.name. So whatever the name is, like Yoshi or Crystal or Ryu or whatever, turning it to lowercase so that we can match it to this to lowercase, just in case there's any discrepancies, if you're typing in uppercase and this is in lower, etc. So we're doing them both to lowercase. And then we're saying dot includes, which is just a function again, to say, does this include a particular term? So we're saying term to lowercase. And the term is, remember, the parameter that we pass through to this transform function, which is gonna be what the user types in here. So if the user types something in here and it matches whatever is in the name so for example if they type in a, a y then it's going to return true for this and it's going to return true for this and true for this because they've all got a y in if they type in an o just on its own it'll be true for this so this will remain in the array this will be false because there's no o in it and this will be false as well so it will filter these two out of the array okay makes sense and then we're returning that updated array right there cool so that is all there is to it to making a filter pipe so if we save this right now the next step we need to do is actually use this filter pipe. So let's get rid of it there. And what we want to do is use this filter pipe on this thing right here in the view. So the way we do that is by doing a pipe and saying filter. And then the parameter it's going to take through is going to be the term, which is this thing right here. OK, so as a user types here, this filter is going to take that parameter and it's going to run this filter pipe. So this term is going to be passed through into here, right? Then it's gonna run this test where it's checking to see if this term is within any of the ninjas names. If it is, then it's gonna keep the ninjas down here. If it's not, then it's gonna filter the ninjas out, okay? So that's how we make this filter array. That's how we use it in the view itself, but this still won't work. And that's because we have to tell Angular that we want to use this custom um, pipe in this component view. So we're in the directory component view. What we need to do is go to the directory component uh, class file right here. And we need to let them know in the class file, let Angular know that we want to use this pipe. So the way we do that is first of all, by importing it at the top. So we're gonna say import, and then it's called the filter pipe. And I got that name from this thing right here, filter pipe. So that's what we're importing. And then we've got to import it from a location and it's from, dot dot because we're going up a level because currently this component is the directory component so we're going up a level into the app component okay so dot dot forward slash and then it is just filter dot pipe so we've imported it there now we can use it in the component itself and we do it in the decorator we say right here that we're going to use this pipe in the view 
Okay, so let's do a comma there and we'll say pipes and this is an array and if we have multiple pipes we can pass them through here we just have one which is the filter pipe like so so if we save that now then we should now be able to use this pipe this custom pipe in our array of data so let's refresh and check it out okay so if we type in here now I'm going to type in Y nothing happens we type in O then it's just Yoshi that remains because none of the others have Y O in them if I type Y U then just Ryu remains this is the Y U yeah if I type in R then Crystal and Ryu remain R Y both of them still remain because they both have R Y in them if I type Ryu then just that remains finally if I type C R then just Crystal remains cool so that is how we create a custom filter pipe this seems a little bit long-winded to be honest to create just a simple filter in angular when it was so easy to do in angular 1 but that is how we do it so the steps are to create this filter.pipe.typescript file yeah and I always create my pipes in the app directory or if they're just particular to a per, um, a certain component then I'll type it or create it in that directory um, I'm putting this here because we might use it in other components as well so I've created that We've given it a name and we've also padded out this transform function which is called every time we use that filter that custom uh, pipe in a view so we've taken in the ninjas array and we've also taken in the term and then we've checked if this term is in the particular ninja at the time by using the filter if it is we return true and it stays in the array if it's not there then it returns false and it's removed from the array then the updated array is passed back into the view right here and then it only outputs the ninjas which return true the ninjas left in the array okay so that is pretty cool that is how we create a custom pipe and in particular a custom filter pipe